Howdy, Ags. Howdy, Aggies. This is Pat Henry, head track coach at Texas A&M. Howdy, this is G. Guerreri. I'm the head soccer coach at Texas A&M. Howdy, Aggies. Mark Weaver here with the Texas A&M women's tennis team. Yeah, this has been just a really <laughs> tough week for, for everybody, obviously. It, it, uh, all of our sports uh, you know, around, around the country, the NCAA around the world, so it's been a, an, an interesting week. I know that our players are really disappointed, our staff is disappointed, and we also understand we don't have any control over this situation. You know, we went to the national championships indoors a week ago, and we're on the track warming up, and they come on the announcements that the meet has been canceled. So our athletes have been hit pretty hard quickly, but they also understood quickly that this is a serious situation. I think the biggest thing for a lot of, a lot of us, and especially for college age women and, and men, is change. Change is, is oftentimes really hard for us to deal with. Anytime the season comes to an end, it's always a challenge to the emotions. Uh, this is definitely a new feeling uh, that we're all going through. The girls have high spirits, it's new challenges, and finding you know their self-discipline and motivation right now, and that's kind of the message that we've sent. Whenever we had our final team meeting with our guys and everybody realized that NCAAs was not going to happen, we were not gonna have the chance to go prove to everybody just how great this team is. Uh, we switched gears, changed direction, we're getting ready for Olympic trials, and so right now we're just doing the best we can with what we are able to do. I told all of my players to uh, go home. Try to get home as soon as you can. Um, be with your family. Uh, your family loves you. They're, this is a maybe an added bonus for your family to actually be around you in times when you would be off to college. Yesterday we did a Zoom teleconference with all 25 of our players and staff. So it was fun to see their faces and just uh, that reminder of how much we love each other and enjoy each other and how much we enjoy spending time together and how much we miss that. If there's a group that deals with adversity and learns how to deal with adversity, athletes are that way because, uh, you know, every weekend we're dealing with a little bit, you either win or you lose. And uh, so that's part of, part of this whole thing and understanding that things will change. Right now, we do not have all the answers and solution right now, but you can count on one thing. The Aggies and the people that are making the decisions, the health department, the president of the United States, uh, our athletic director, uh, Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, a lot of folks are in on making decisions. That's why they're in those positions, because they're good at this. I'm sure these days are going to get long. Try to, we, we're trying to be productive. Um, there's only so much you can do in your house, so it's uh, certainly giving us all the chance to reflect, take some time and feel some gratitude for how fortunate we are to, to get to do what we do. And Take it as a challenge. Be that 12th man. Be the person that steps up and takes charge of your life, knowing that by doing the right things, you're doing the right thing for the people around you. When we're all back together, I can't wait for that. The 12th man's gonna be huge. The energy and the spirit is gonna be even stronger than ever. Thank you, Giga Maggies.